Hello everybody, this is the Phantom Safety Pin, and welcome back to The Dark Eye. Uh, when we last left off, we were, uh, a dude, and we were going to go commit revenge, and let's actually turn the other way. But, you see, huh. Wow, uh, creepy. Creepy music. Yep, we're playing as, uh, Montresor, the, the, uh, main antagonist of the Casco Montiato, if you remember that story. Uh, who is this dude? I must not only punish, but punish with impunity. It is a poor mm. vengeance that also harms the Revenger. Good point. What's this? Who is this guy? A creepy guy. Eating a bone. He's eating a bone. Why is he eating a bone? Because he's poor? Hi, dude. Huh. Sir, return to the villa. Tell the livery that I shall be out all night. They are forbidden to leave the house. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. That dude was our servant. Montresor is a rich guy, and he's angry at another rich guy. If you haven't read Casper Montiato, he's angry because of a lot of things. I'm sure their immediate disappearance, now that my back is turned. Hmm. Alright. I guess he's really on. So. Unless there's a lot of talking, so I'm not gonna say a whole bunch. Who are these people? Huh. Maybe now we can talk to this creepy poor dude. There's a lot of different things you can look at in these in these uh in these games. In this game. So hmm. Yeah. We're gonna leave the poor kid alone. Let's go forward. Hmm. There's our target. Target acquired, sir. Oh. Years I've suffered his injuries, but now he has ventured upon insult. Has he? That tinkling in the eyes and that sound means you can soul jump to that person. We're not going to soul jump in this LP. It's unimportant. Let's go after him. Let's go say hello to our victim before we kill him. Because this is important. Alright, people at the end of the bridge. Wine mask in Venice, which is where this takes place. Hi, lady. Who's that? No one, Signora. No one at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't belong to any. I'm certain. I'm certainly not going to commit any murder tonight. Let's see. So, who is this person? These three people. Let's talk to them. Hello. Talk with me. Talk with me about wine. Hmm. The animation is really good in this game, I think. Okay, he's not doing anything. Hi, Fortunato. How are things? Who's that under the mask? Why, it's Montresor. Fortunato. What a surprise. Hmm. Let's talk more, victim. It's my dear Fortunato. I wonder if you could help me. I've bought a small cask of what passes for a Montillado. But I have my doubts. A Montillado. But I have my doubts. See, 
Macchiato is really rare, a very expensive wine, and Fortunato knows a lot about wines. So does this dude. This is the beginning of the story. Lucchese has a discerning palate. Perhaps he could take a sip. Bah, Lucchese can't tell a Montiotto from gutter water. Hmm. So, of course, they're all picking on each other. I'm assuming this guy next to him is Lucchese or Lucchese or whatever. How do you pronounce it? Well, I think they don't want, want to talk anymore, so. Let's just leave. If he doesn't want to follow me, he doesn't have to. Let's go. Or okay, we can. Is Wish out of following me? Hello. If you insist, we'll go. He just wants to get drunk, I think. Hey. Cursor. Oh, want me to click on him. Sorry. So, we go to my house. my wine vaults. There's absolutely nothing dangerous in my wine vault whatsoever. Sorry, I keep talking over there talking. They keep talking. I'll be quiet. You are afflicted with a severe cold. The vaults are insufferably damp and they are encrusted with nitre. Let us return. I'll consult Lucchese. The cold is nothing. Lucchese is an ignoramus. Alright. Here's an interesting crest. It was actually a different crest in the story, but uh, here it's quite unique. It's, it looks more like the dark mark from Harry Potter, I think. The original crest was... The original crest in the story was a boot stomping on a servant. And now we get into the annoying part. This is a really, really long portion. It's a maze. Because you're going to the vault. I suppose we do need torches, don't we? There's gotta be some torches around here somewhere, Fortunato. You tell me. I don't know. I don't often go into my vaults. I guess I don't drink a lot of wine. Or maybe I do drink a lot of wine. Why is there a lot of... Well, thank you for motioning. That's very helpful. Now we have a torch. That's much better. <laughs> Fortunato is scared of the dark. Scared of the dark. Dude, trust me. Uh, That's ominous. Bones. Music's creepy. Hmm. Now this is kind of a maze, so uh I'm gonna be careful. Dead people. Yeah, these are some uh nice vaults. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You stay really, really quiet. You just, you just stay in the dark. We'll, we'll say no more about it. Ooh, wine! Who wants some wine? 
I want some wine. Wine is delicious. I did promise him wine after all. Hmm. There's a certain bottle it wants me to grab, I think. Huh. Here you go. A draft of metal will keep us from the dams. Here. Have some wine. Wine is delicious. And this does happen in the story, by the way. Enjoy. It will still the cough. Oh, it'll still the cough, alright. Now he has a drunk. Now that Fortunato is drunk, we can do bad things to him. Gosh, yeah, I... With impunity. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I totally ship Matusaur Fortunato now, guys. Totally. It's, it's kind of a thing now. <laughs> yep, he's sick, all right. I would like to go places. Let's go places. Can we go places? Let's go places. Vaults scare me. Vaults are scary. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Sorry, guys. Uh, this is taking me a bit. I'm trying to figure out which direction to take him, and I'm not sure. He has a weakness. Hmm. Sure does have a weakness. I would like to... Which way do I go? Seriously. This way? Revenge. Hmm. Yes, revenge. It is delicious. Huh. Turn to the dead. If it'll let me. Uh, I did. Guy. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I keep getting lost. This really is kind of maze-like. If you've never played this game, you really don't know. One wants to take it slowly. Oh, yeah. We're gonna take revenge slowly, alright. Have I gotten turned around? I can't tell where I am. lost. If you go this way? Punish with impunity. Oops, I went the wrong way. I am so sorry, guys. Um, let's see if I can get us to the right way. Oh, it's a hairpin. It's a hairpin, I see. That's a little mean. It's a little mean, but okay. What's over here? I thought I saw something in the wall. No, I didn't. Huh. Did we find the vault? Yes, we did, guys. Congrats, we found the vault. Let's put the torch in the thing. And this, of course, does happen in the book. This is very close to the story. And now it's dark! Sure. sure does. Hmm. Fortunato, you are unintelligent. Actually, he's not unintelligent, he's just drunk. Drunk off his ass! Hello. <laughs> I will chain you! It's a chain. Do you like chains? I like chains. Chains are awesome! <laughs> it is very damp here. One last time, let me implore you to return. No? Then I must leave you. But first... Did 
Bit, 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 bit. Turn, please. Turn to the bones. Wow. I didn't... Hello. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I am I'm apparently drunk myself. <laughs> Build your wall. He screams through a closed mouth. Why does he scream through a closed mouth? That's a little creepy. Oh no, we don't have a mad. An excellent joke. We've had many laughs about it now, but not so over so much. The Amontillado. Yes! <laughs> some more so yup just a little creepy it's getting late my wife will be looking for me let us be gone yes let us be gone thy kingdom come thy will be done in the story always gave me chills. Always. Always, always. Fortunato. Okay. I think he's finally accepted his fate now. Did I actually just break that guy into a wall? Holy shit. To the deafness. I just bricked him into the wall. Oh my god. I really just killed some dude by breaking him into the wall. That's a little creepy. Thanks a lot, Poe. That phrase means, may he rest in peace. Now the one thing I did not get to was I did not show him the crest. I could not find it, so... Didn't get the full story. Sorry about that, guys. A little creepy. Huh. It must have been a dream. A dream dark and disturbing, a haunting dream. I was glad to find myself back in Edwin's silent home. Thank God it was only a dream, guys. Wow. Creepy.